Hey everybody, this is Nir Bashan, author of The Creator Mindset, a book on creativity in the workplace. It is a McGraw-Hill release. I am so, so happy to welcome you to a very special episode of Coffee Break, where we have Stefan Larson, who published a book called The Patient Priority, Solve Healthcare's Value Crisis by Measuring and Delivering Outcomes That Matter to Patients. Stefan, welcome to the show. Thank you. So, Stefan, we got a copy of this. I, I took a look at it. I love it. But will you tell us why this book is so important? I think, you know, around the world, we've all been through the COVID pandemic. And, you know, some of us or some places we still suffer from it. But, you know, we've seen for the first time in, in about 100 years how challenging or critical our healthcare systems are for the stability of our societies, you know, for all of us to be able to go to work, to live normal life with our families, etc. And uh, we've also seen how some healthcare systems have actually been really inefficient in taking care of the situation. Parts of the world, it's been really chaotic uh, with, with this disease. And we see doctors that are burnt out, nurses that are leaving the profession, and so on and so forth. But this started actually before COVID. And I think what COVID has made clear to us is the importance of rethinking our healthcare systems. So we're better prepared the next time, but maybe more importantly, that we are better capable of using our resources than we are today. Healthcare is in a crisis, and the crisis has got worse by COVID, but it's progressing after COVID as well. So it, there's an urgent need to think differently about how we manage healthcare. So in this book, The Patient Priority, Stefan, you talk a lot about delivering outcomes that matter to patients, right? Yeah. But somebody might say, you know what? Who cares what the patients think? I am the health care provider. I know what this patient needs. What do you say to people like that? You know, it's, that's an interesting comment because you could argue, well, why do we have a healthcare system in the first place? You know, we've got them together in organized hospitals and payers, et cetera, because we think we, you know, it's important for us to have healthy people. Healthy people can work, they be happy, that they can take care of their kids and their older ones, etc. One of the most important things for anyone in life is health. So as a society, it's really, really important. And if we have a healthcare system, we don't care, uh, you know, what's important to the patients. You know, what are we doing? And so therefore, we think that we have, we have to focus much more on understanding what matters to patients and make sure that that's what we're focusing on delivering. And not what matters to somebody else, you know. Yes. <laughs> so when we look at what matters to a patient, do we get efficiency there? I mean, is this something that a, um, a one of the large healthcare companies here in the U.S. can say, okay, this is a great program because it not only hits the bottom line, but also gets a better patient outcome? So I think that's a very, very important one. Um, you know, the, the paradigm historically has been, if we spend more, we get we get better. But that's actually not true. Uh, you know, OECD and WHO have shown that we waste 20 to 40 percent of what we do. And there's been a number of studies in the U.S. showing that we actually pay a lot, a lot of money for things that don't help patients. So if we focus on things that really make a difference for patients and help them be healthier, we can actually eliminate stuff that we do today because we're paid to do stuff. We're not paid to make people ha ha healthier. We're, we're actually paid to do stuff, and we do too much stuff that doesn't help patients. My guest again today is Stefan Larson. He published a book, a revolutionary book, called The Patient Priority, Solve Healthcare's Value Crisis by Measuring and Delivering Outcomes that Matter to Patient. This is a brand new way, an innovative way of looking at the healthcare problem. Uh, Stefan, how did this book make us more creative? So um, you know, the, the way we we try to manage healthcare today is we define what's best practice and or guidelines, and we often define high quality care as compliance to guidelines. So you're a good doctor if you do what you're told, in a way. Now, if we say instead that you're a good doctor if the outcomes of your patients are better, that's a very interesting problem. Creativity is a tool we have to solve problems. And so if you're asked to deliver better outcomes, you will think of 
what are ways in which I can improve outcomes? The first is I follow guidelines. But you can also say, you know, maybe the guidelines aren't great. Maybe I can improve the guidelines. Or maybe there are other things that are not in the guidelines that make people healthier. Maybe if they eat better, they exercise more, they have a lovely husband. And so if we define the goal of what we do as to deliver better outcomes that matter to patients, we have a broad toolbox. It includes guidelines and evidence-based medicine, but we're actually given a mandate to think beyond that. We see many examples, such as the Medicare Advantage Program, organizations such as Oak Street Health in the U.S., which has been really creative in how they change how care is given to patients, how they help individuals, uh, you know, with food or home services, etc., to make them lead a better life and be healthier. Stefan Larson, my guest today on Coffee Break. The book is called The Patient Priority Solve Healthcare's Value Crisis by Measuring and Delivering Outcomes That Actually Matter to the Patients, a book that is changing the way that we look at healthcare. Stefan, thank you so very much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you.